For this question, we have to make sure we understand what congruent means, right? So if they're saying that they are congruent triangles, that means that they are just equal to each other, meaning they're the exact same triangle. So we could draw these if we want. We can draw two triangles. So uh, we have to make sure we follow the instructions in the question, but they're pretty clear. A corresponds to D. So I'll put A and D here. They say B and E are right angles. So we gotta make sure that those go down there. And then what's the leftover letter? C and F. So those are gonna correspond as well. The measure of angle A is 18 degrees. So we'll put that up here. And that also tells us that the measure of angle D is 18 degrees. That's what they mean when they say that these correspond. If they're congruent triangles, remember they're the same exact triangle. So we can kind of transfer one piece to another based on what corresponds. So this is, they're telling us A is 18 degrees, but because it corresponds to D, they're also telling us D is 18 degrees, and that's gonna help us solve for what we really want, which is angle F, because we hopefully know that there are 180 degrees in a triangle, we've got 18 and 90, so we just take our 180, subtract the 90, subtract the 18, and whatever we're left with is angle F. So we can grab our regular old calculators to do that. Uh, 180 minus 90 is 90, minus another 18 is 72, and that is choice B, and that is the answer. So a lot of questions with uh, congruent triangles are gonna get more complicated as we get later in the test. There's a lot of rules about how we know things are congruent, but here they're not asking us to prove anything congruent, they're just telling us what that they are. And so we do need to know that that word is kind of like a fancy geometry word that just means equal. So use that, draw some pictures, and these should be easy questions.